Hi, I'm Beth. I'm on the Windows Phone team here at Microsoft, and today I'm going to take you on a tour of the next release of Windows Phone. So come on. This is my start screen. It has everything I need front and center. The people, places, apps, web pages, music, everything that's important to me, just one tap away. Scrolling up here to the top, let's take a look at my me tile. This tile is where I can check into locations, set my online status, and even post a message. I can post status updates to all my different networks, including LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, and Windows Live. Notice how my start screen lights up with live tiles. Everything's moving, from my photos, to the music I've been listening to, photos of my friends, and even apps that I've pinned to the start screen. That's a boarding pass for my next flight to Paris. And that's what makes Windows Phone the phone that puts all the people in your life front and center and lets you get to the things that matter most faster and easier. With Windows Phone, we focus on people and how they communicate. This is embodied in the People Hub, the one place where you go to connect and share with your friends, family, and colleagues. Jumping into the People Hub, my first view is of all the people I've been in touch with recently. This is like a dynamic favorites list because it always shows the last six people that I've talked to, sent texts to, or even emailed. Let's take a look at my friend Betsy. This is Betsy's quick card. It shows me the different channels that I'm connected to with her, including Windows Live, Outlook, and Facebook. I see her latest status, and then I can call her, text her, or even shoot her a quick email. I can also write on her Facebook wall. I can swipe over and see what's new with Betsy. As you can see, she and I are gonna be hitting the beach later. I can also see the photos that she's posted to her wall and her status updates. Finally, I can swipe over and see Betsy's pictures. These are photo albums from both Windows Live and Facebook. And as you can see, I went in earlier and I tagged all my photos. So now I can always see which photos Betsy's in or jump straight to her profile. Back in the People Hub, I can take a look at all my contacts. This is a combination of contacts from Windows Live, Google, Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. So I have quite a few, but it's easy to get to the person I want to. I just tap on the letter, choose the first letter of their name, and I'm taken right to that section. I can also search if I'm looking for a specific person. Now I can swipe over and see what's new with all of my friends. Just like with Betsy, I can see their status, their photos, and anything they've posted. And I can even filter by an account. So if I only want to see what's going on on Twitter, I just choose Twitter. There are two new features in the next release of Windows Phone that I'm really excited about, groups and threads. First, let's take a look at groups. Groups is a feature that lets me create groups of people based on interests or relationship. So for example, I have two groups, my family and my friends, but I could create a group for my book club, uh, my running group, or even my friends that I like to play board games with on a Friday night. So I've pinned my group of favorite people onto the start screen. These are my best friends. When I open up the group, you can see that their tiles start to light up with their latest status. Or if they've called me or sent me a message, that'll show up as well. And just like in the People Hub, I can swipe over and see what's new, but this time I'm only seeing what's new with this group of friends. And then finally, I can swipe over and see all of their pictures. In this case, Betsy's the only one who shared an album, so I need to send a message to the group and let them know that they need to get on the ball and start sharing. So as you can see, if I swipe to the bottom, I can send them all an SMS at the same time, or if they're on Messenger, we could actually have a group chat. Finally, in just one tap, I can send an email to the entire group. Just like groups, threads is a really cool new feature in the next release of Windows Phone. 
Threads brings together all your messages in one location, text messaging, Facebook chat, and instant messaging using Windows Live. Earlier, I was having a conversation with my friend Betsy. Like I said, we're going to the beach. First, she sent me a text. And then later, when I responded, I noticed she was online on Messenger. So I responded. Now, as you can see, she's offline. And so it's suggesting that I try text. I simply just tap on the switcheroo button and I switch from Messenger to Text Mobile and I'm good to go. So as you can see, I don't have to jump in and out of different applications to keep track of all my conversations. With Threads, Windows Phone brings them all together. One of the features I use most on my Windows Phone is email, whether it's for personal or work communication. On my start screen, I have live tiles for both my Outlook inbox, which is my work inbox, and my personal emails, which is actually another new feature. One of the things you can do with the next release of Windows Phone is to link your inboxes. So what I've done is I've linked both my Hotmail and my Gmail accounts into one inbox, which I call personal email. Another new feature is that we've added the ability to view your conversation in threads, including your replies, so I don't have to wonder what I said when I'm going back through a conversation. These two changes make our email experience on Windows Phone even better. Another area in which we made some changes is in the Office Hub. The Office Hub brings you everything you need to be productive on the go, whether it's your notes in OneNote, which are synchronized to your SkyDrive, documents that can be synchronized via either SharePoint, SkyDrive, or Office 365 if you're a subscriber, and then the ability to save documents directly to your phone. Let's take a look at my SharePoint. With SharePoint on Windows Phone, I can access my document library. Not only can I view the documents on my SharePoint, I can check them out, make full changes and edits, save them back to the SharePoint, and close it out, all without having to boot up a laptop. Phones aren't just being about productive anymore. They're also about having fun when you're out and about. And Windows Phone does fun like no other phone. Let's take a look at the Games Hub. This is where I can find all of my games and my avatar. I can take a look at my profile, make edits if needed, check my achievements and see how I'm doing on my gamer score, and make changes to my avatar, including changing up her outfit or even her hair. I can also see which of my friends are online, challenge them to play games, or send them a message. Now, let's take a look at my favorite new game, Fruit Ninja. All right, so we're going to choose a new game, classic mode, and I'm going to start chopping some fruit. Now, one of the new features we've added to this next release of Windows Phone is the ability to multitask. So even though I'm knee deep in fruit, I might need to go back and check my email. So I simply hold the back button, swipe over to the window that I need to get to, make my email changes, Hold the back button again, jump right back into Fruit Ninja, just in time to take care of that nasty bomb. And I'm right back in the game and ready to start chopping. The Music and Video Hub is like a digital entertainment center on your Windows phone. In the Music and Video Hub, you'll find your collection of music, videos, podcasts, even a radio you can play, as well as access to the Marketplace, where you can download and buy music. And now, with the next release of Windows Phone, podcasts can be downloaded right on the fly. In the Music Hub, you can see the history of music that you've played, any new music that's been added to your library, as well as videos and podcasts, and then apps that are related to music or video. So in this case, if I want to jump into Last.fm or check out the lyrics to my favorite song, I have the apps just one swipe away. 
Now I'm going to show you one of the features I'm most excited about in the next release of Windows Phone. One of the things I do a lot with my phone is listen to music. So let's say I'm at the airport, I have my headphones on, my phone's in my pocket, and I've got a suitcase in each hand. I'm listening to music when all of a sudden a text comes in from a friend. Message from Chris Gray. You can say read it or ignore. Read it. Movie tonight. You can say reply, call, or I'm done. Reply. Say your message. Sounds great. Sounds great. You can say send or try again. Send. And with that, message sent, music back on, and I am headed straight for the jetway. One of the standout features for Windows Phone is its search capability powered by Bing. Let's take a look at all the things you can do with the search functionality. I'm going to the movies this weekend, and I want to see what's out in the theaters. So I'm just going to do a quick search on movies. Bing brings up a listing of all the movies that are out in the theaters. I can tap in and then choose the one I want to see. In this case, I think I'll go see Harry Potter. This brings up the quick card for the movie. A quick card gives you all the information about a topic. For example, its rating, runtime, and even a description. I can also swipe over and check out show times. And finally, with the new App Connect, Bing searches inside the apps on my phone. So in this case, because I have IMDb installed, it knows that if I tap on that, I can pull up the IMDb results for Harry Potter. How's that for a cool search feature? So digging in, let's say I want to go see the movie at this theater. Now I pull up the quick card for this location. It gives me the phone number, directions, and even tells me the neighborhood it's in. If I tap on the neighborhood, I'm now opening up a new feature of Windows Phone called Local Scout. The cool thing about Local Scout is no matter what neighborhood I'm in, I just do a quick search and it tells me where I can eat and drink, things that I can see and do, places I can go shopping, and then any highlights. And once I pick a restaurant, I can then open up its quick card, read the reviews, and even share it with my friends who I'll be meeting with later. Now let's do a search for a product I've been thinking about buying. I'm a bit of a gamer, as you know, and so I've been thinking it's time to get that new Xbox 360. So we'll just do a quick search. And now Bing brings me the results from the web as well as a product search. If I tap on the product results, I now get information about this product, reviews, prices across the web, and then again, using App Connect, I can just jump directly into Amazon shopping and buy my Xbox 360. In addition to movies and products, there are quick cards for just about everything. Let me show you another example. This weekend, I think I want to go hear some live music, and in Seattle, there's nowhere quite like the Showbox to go see live music. So we'll do a quick search, swipe over to local, and as you can see, there's a quick card for the Showbox Music Club. I can see information about the venue, read reviews, and see what's upcoming. I'm a huge fan of the Eels, so let's go ahead and tap in. They're playing on August 9th. I can read a description of the band, and when I'm done, I can even quickly tap and buy tickets for the show. In addition to movies and music, one of my other favorite things to do is to go shopping. And Bing Search is right there to help me make it happen. One of my favorite shopping centers in Seattle is the University Village. There's tons of shops, it's set outdoors, and there's plenty to do when you're there. So let's take a look at its quick card. So University Village Shopping, I can get my information, read my reviews, even pull up a store directory. But what's cooler than that is I can go inside. 
Pulling up the Go Inside map lets me see where shops are located as well as where I'm located on the map. So I can zoom in and choose exactly where to park to get to the, my favorite store. And with Windows Phone and Bing, we give you a search experience that's like nothing else. So that's just a look at some of the new features in the next release of Windows Phone. Believe me, there's much more. So be sure to like us here on Facebook so you can stay tuned to all the latest news and check back because we're going to be available this fall.